state retiree, and I have little idea of what it is uh, as far as tax monies are concerned. So what I have looked, I've lived in the Lowndes County area since 1966, and I have seen little change in a positive fashion. I look at our tax dollars increasing over the years, and I see our crime rate going up. I see the education of our children. Bless their hearts. We have really cheated some of our children from, from education. Our children try to go to college, they have to go through a remedial group. Something is wrong with other things than money. You cannot just throw money at problems. We've got to get to the base of it. And there are, and I hope, that we can look at our elected officials that come on the commission now, that can look at some really renovated ideas. I'm trying to do this not just with council, not just with government. Government's not the solution to our problem. Our people are, I'm absolutely horrified. You've got this huge building, this huge room, and nobody's here. And you want to blame the people? You know, Thomas Jefferson had a saying. He said, when the government, or when people are afraid of the government, it's tyranny. And I wonder if it's fear, or they just don't care. I encourage people to come to this meeting. The comments were, you're going to do it anyway. It doesn't matter. And I'm real concerned about that. And this needs to be a little more friendly or whatever. But something needs to be renovated. I don't have all the answers, but I do know that we need a new approach to how we're spending our money. I also want to make a statement about, you know, back in 1966, you come to a Board of Commissioners meeting, you came anywhere, we always prayed before our meeting. And it was Benjamin Franklin, that when our founders of, of, of our nation, when they were foundling and could not get together on the Constitution, he rose up and he said, you know, we used to pray before our meetings, but we haven't asked for divine guidance. Perhaps we need to start. And I think without that guidance, we are not going to be successful. And with those comments, I'd like to say that. I also, in my working experience in uh, the county, in, in, the, in the state government, both in public health as well as at the count, uh, college of nursing, that many times it's very difficult to have quality people working for you. I read a research in which 13% of people that are working are actually engaged when they're working. It horrified me that these people are there and they seem to be working, but they're not really putting their heart in it. <clears throat> and I think this is something that we need to do. We need to trim government, not grow it. Smaller and better. I think government jobs in many respects can be, quote, entitlement jobs, government entitlement jobs, and we have to look at that. I can tell you from experience that you can go through a long process of getting rid of people that do not do their job or have done incompetent things. And yet, administration does not back up the people that are doing the work. And I think rather than letting go of all these little people that are doing the work, perhaps we need to look a little bit at administration. I'm concerned about our county. I hate the crime rate that's going up. Money is not going to do it all. We need to look at this from a lot of perspectives. And with that, I say thank you. And I, I just want to say thank you, particularly to Joyce. She listens to me. <laughs> and not only that, but she has uh, served on our board of the Partnership for Health Clinic, which was, has been an initiative that uh, I worked with from the beginning to help improve the quality of life for the uh, people in Lowndes County. So I thank you, Joyce, for, for being on that board. And all of you for serving. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else?